All right, you have two bottles of Oktoberfest Samuel Adams. This is right on top of my robust potatoes. Now I'm coming in with some butter that I pre-sliced. All right, and I did put some slits inside my potatoes so that they would cook nice and even. I'm putting two thick slices of butter on each potato. Oh, these are gonna be so good. Just smothered in the best beer. Okay, we need two more slices. So I used a little over one stick of butter for the entire dish. All right, you guys, this is gonna go into the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. All right, you guys, it's been 30 minutes and they're not done yet, but it is time to season them. Let's go ahead and start with some garlic powder. And we wanna make sure these are all nicely seasoned. You can use whatever seasoning you want, but I'm just using what I think will go well with that Oktoberfest. Beautiful. Now I'm coming in with some onion powder. Oh my gosh, these smell so good, you guys. I cannot wait to eat one. Perfect. Now, of course, we gotta do some pepper. Just get them nice and seasoned. And we're gonna keep all that juice in there, all that beer in there to keep them nice and moist. Now, for my favorite part, we got some real crumbled bacon and we are gonna get these all ready for eating. Oh my goodness, just get all that bacon. It's okay if it falls in the juice because that's just gonna add to the flavor. Beautiful, I used that whole bag. Now, these would not be true potatoes without a little bit of cheese and I'm doing the mild cheddar. Let's go ahead and just do a nice sprinkle right on top. I know I'm kind of missing the potato here, but you know, I'm doing the best I can. These are gonna be good regardless. If you had some flatter potatoes, it probably would work better. <laughs> if they even have flat potatoes, if that's even a thing. But don't worry, I will make sure these are extra cheesy. Oh, these are gonna be so good, you guys. I cannot wait for you to see how they end up. These are some twice baked potatoes, so they are gonna go back in the oven for the second time, but not until we get all of this cheese on there. Beautiful. All right, you guys, that is it. We're gonna put them back in the oven for 30 more minutes, so it's a total of one hour because these are big potatoes and it's still at 350. Oh my, would you look at these? Oh, these are gonna be the best potatoes I've ever eaten. Okay, to go with all those flavors, I have some green onions here. Some chives would work as well, but they were all out at the store. So just come on, get a good amount of green onions on there. Maybe put some sour cream first so it actually sticks to the potato, but as long as the flavor's there, that's all that matters. Oh yeah, these look so delicious. Okay, beautiful. Go ahead and get one of these out so we can cut it open. I think I'm gonna go with for the middle one. Oh, I can just tell it's perfectly cooked. Whew. All right, you guys, let's cut in dirt. See that delicious insides. Oh yeah, that is a perfectly cooked potato. Oh, look how it just falls apart. All right, that is it, our Oktoberfest potatoes.